While COVID-19 remains a national health concern, another problem has been looming for years, obesity. September is National Childhood Obesity Month, and in children, obesity can cause mental and physical health complications. As News 13's Erica Orstad tells us, those health concerns can grow bigger as children grow into adulthood, but prevention is key. At the Institute of Endocrinology in Panama City. I do see childhood obesity uh, on a daily basis. Family nurse practitioner Ashley Brooks says it's a problem she feels passionate about fixing. It burdens me deeply because these are some of these things we can easily prevent. She's talking about health concerns stemming from obesity, like depression and low self-esteem, as well as early onset type 2 diabetes and even heart disease. The things that we would see as an adult we, we can see them in our teenagers and our children. According to the Department of Health in Bay County, one in 10 children over the age of two are obese, and more than one in 10 in middle and high school students are too. COVID-19 hasn't helped. Everyone's calling it the COVID weight gain. I think everyone from toddlers all the way to adults are having that, and that's where we've just got to encourage the exercise. Brooks and Health Department staff like Hay Mulligan Judah also say sugar consumption is a major contributor to the problem. Since unused sugar this right here is how much is in one can of soda. Turns into fat. Children that come in drinking sodas, sweet teas, Kool-Aids, even Gatorade. If we can just pull that out of their diet, it's amazing how much that can really uh, attribute to the obesity factor. She and Brooks say adding more activity to everyday routines is also a way to prevent obesity and developing long-term health complications. Both the Health Department and the Institute of Endocrinology are available for additional resources. In Panama City, Erica Orstadt, News 13, Panhandle Strong.